Hello beautiful Aquarius and cross watchers. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and with this is Irish Donna Tarot. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. The overall energy of your reading is closing a door, completion. So this is a cycle of ending something, and beginning something anew, benefactor, grace and generosity. So spirit is being very generous with you as you make a big transition in your life root girl the disowned self so as you get ready to make this transition into another time in your life with a new beginning um, you are going to go through a little bit of upheaval you know really deciding what's good for you what's real what's authentic for you so as we look at this relationship reading this is your person's thoughts clarified feelings intentions actions so, Aquarius, look at this. We have the Capricorn Queen. Your person thinks of you as somebody very reliable, very nurturing, very motherly, very much a powerhouse of career. It's Capricorn energy. They feel as though you're very stable, that you are very grounded, that you are a commitment-oriented person. They feel very much that you're at a crossroads, that you are holding on to the status quo. You know, when they think of you, they're holding on to you and a decision in your life is coming forward requiring you to define yourself more clearly in terms of your long-term goals. So they see you as in a state of transition. They also see you as their soulmate and they are, their twin flame. Soulmate is uh, the soulmate card. You know, the soulmate energy is protected by uh, Archangel Raphael and the twin flame card. They feel as though you are their other half. That's, you know, very much in their head. Their thinking and their, their thoughts and their feelings are very intertwined here. In terms of their heart space, they love you ace of cups they feel as though there are other elements of their life that are sort of not pleasing to them your person feels like they have very limited ability to sort of do their own thing or to pull away from you it's an interesting energy this person wants more freedom in the relationship in their heart space they love you but they need a lot of freedom they want a lot of clarity they are juggling different ideas about what to do but they haven't really taken any action so your person looks as though they're very much up in their head they're trying to make a decision about where they fit in your life where they fit in their own life so this is a period when you look at the closing door card that both of you are going through this together because from the thought section we see a very intact relationship the two of you seem to be very strong together very dedicated but we see this change coming about in terms of your person's intentions they are not telling you they are not telling you that they may go a separate way. We see that their their intention is to walk away from anything that doesn't really meet their criteria. And right now, they're feeling as though they can't be honest. They're trying to manifest more freedom within the relationship with this. And, but they want the love, but they want more freedom. So there's something about your connection that makes your person feel tied down. You know, they're, they're having this feeling of restriction. In terms of their actual, um, the actions they will uh, present to you, what you will see manifest is being very, very romantic with you. The Heart of Pentacles, you know, they're going to be romantic in this very nurturing way. They You really mirror each other on the way that you present your love. Both of you are very feisty. Your person is obsessed with the heat. Your person is absolutely obsessed with the heat, with the happiness. But right now, this your person is obsessed with the idea of having the relationship with you. But we also see when we get more than one queen, for some of you, this won't resonate with everybody, but for some of you, you may have a challenger. You may have someone who's you know, your person may not be fully, um, they want the romance, they want the freedom, 
and it looks as though they don't know what they're doing. There's this sort of a fantasy element to your relationship, Aquarius. It doesn't look very solid right now, to, to, to be perfectly honest with you. This person looks as though they adore you, they love you, they've been with you for some time, and now they're really... They love you and they don't want to leave. They like everything about it, but they're feeling a need to have more independence from the relationship. They feel as though they need to explore who they are as an individual a bit more uh, than they have in recent times with you. Let's look and see, Aquarius, what your person wants with you uh, because we see everything else about them, but what do they actually want with you? What is their driving force or their motivation at this time? So let's see what we have. Okay. Oh, there's the Aries Queen again. So they want you to be that sexy, fiery, uh, just absolutely witty boss-up energy. Look at this Empress card. They absolutely adore you. They love you. You know, this is... This Empress energy is all about manifesting Empress twice. Their intention is to manifest you, but boy, those cards, the cards of where they're at with you in terms of their intentions are not cards that I specifically like. So there is a possibility here that this, you know, two different women, whenever we get the Queen of Wands, it could be quote unquote the other woman, but your person's invested in you. Um, we see this energy of Cancerian energy. They want to nurture the relationship, but they have something to tell you. There's something about this relationship. They want to, they want to move forward. They want to be more reliable. Um, let's see what they want to make an offer. They want to have more reliability. They want more adventure in your current relationship. They feel a bit smothered or they feel as though you know, this big change that's happening that you might part ways. You know, your person wants a new beginning, but they feel as though you don't see them or hear them or, you know, it's they just feel stifled. But I, it's not anything that you've done. They feel as though you're absolutely in love with them. They feel that, you know, that you've had, the two of you have had a really good relationship. But it just shows that your person's like in this very messy energy and they don't quite know what they want. They don't want to give you up, but they want to experiment in their life, which is not going to be, it's not going to be a functioning option, you know, for you. So I don't like this reading so much. I have to say that Aquarius, but it is a time of upheaval. Let's look and see what the shadow deck says, because I'm a, it's kind of a weird reading. This person's madly in love with you, and yet it's like they can't settle into commitment. What is going on with your person here that's making them dubious with all these sort of negative energies? Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Cups, the Devil card, the Seven of Cups is they're totally confused living in fantasy land, the Nine of Cups, you know. They feel happy but dissatisfied. They feel, you know, the Nine of Cups is supposed to be a happy card, but there we don't see it as being so happy. Okay, so this per your person doesn't want to be alone. I can say that. So, okay, so we have the King of Swords. So your person feels as though they are going to do what's good for them, and they're going to sacrifice along the way whatever they don't want. So we have the energy also of, the Eight of Pentacles, your person wants to, they want to work on themselves. They want to master a craft. They want to master their money better in their life. The Magician card, of course, is repeated here. So they do see you as a magical part of their life. The Sacred Heart, they do have this tremendous love for you. They love you with all their heart. It's, um, it's an intense energy, the star card. They feel as though you are a rock star, that they're not ever going to have anyone in their life that's better than you. The three of wands, they do think that you are their person. The answer is yes, do they want to continue? But the three of swords, thorny energy. Somebody here in this situation is interfering. Some situation, a person in this situation, I would have to say, that your person is having some sort of interaction with someone else. 
the justice card speaks to the fact that they want to be fair the, the knight of swords says that they have a lot to tell you when we get that cobra card as a knight of swords it usually means that whatever this person has to tell you is not going to feel good to you so i would just give you a cautionary note right now aquarius that there may be things going on behind the scenes and behind your back you know i would really i would really pay very close attention and i would try to have a talk with them at your earliest convenience because they have a lot to say my personal opinion here is that you've been together long enough that you know that you both have beefs quote unquote you know issues with the relationship and i feel your person loves you they don't want to leave you but they also feel as though they need to tell you they need more freedom uh, of thought action they just feel like you're the leader and they want to take more of a leadership role in their own life so i'm going to leave it there and uh, tell me what you think send me love from chicago since i'm back tell me where you're from and tell me how this resonates i've had some all the readings in the last few readings here have been a bit different uh, a bit intense and uh, given the Scorpio energy I can really see why so take care hope to see you in another video soon thanks so much